guys. So there it is, a new addition. I'm gonna take it off right now. Got some tuning plates right there. Some coal boxes. Alright, so there it is. Got the tail true thermometer. Came with a couple goodies. Got this for 300 Old Country Pecos. We just seasoned it. Good starter. Got the shelf. He also gave me some fruit wood. Basically told me that's around the size of the wood chunks he uses. Give me some gaskets. Got two teletruth gauges and some latches. Here are the latches right here. Got the island outdoor gaskets with the latches. So got a couple goodies. Um, charcoal box. It's got the grill grate here. So I can cook some steaks while I smoke. Direct heat. It's got the uh, charcoal bed. He used the tuning plates because he has a baffle still. So I'm gonna try to uh, use the baffle with some tuning plates and see where the hot zones are. And then we'll make a determination if uh, we're going to have to cut that baffle out or grind it out. And then we're definitely gonna extend that stack, you know, 12 to 16 inches. And uh, we'll see how it goes, but excited. This is uh, the next three trials barbecue. So that's kind of how I had it set up right now. I haven't really researched how it works, but that baffle obviously, as you can see, lifts that up. That could be an issue with this area here with anything burning, cause that's gonna radiate heat up to the grate marks. So I may just, uh, may just eliminate that one all together and do something more more or less like that you know i think having a little gap here or maybe even closing it somehow like that that'll distribute it because the air is going to go down reflect up and then come this way usually the hot zone is around here which is really where i want to be cooking right so if i could cook around here that would be the that would be the best um so that baffle may have to come off if i can't if i can't really make the hot zone pretty much here by the firebox um if i could get it to eliminate that baffle then all the fire and heat can come over here and then maybe i could still use the tuning plates but for the most part that's the issue with these pecos is it draws the heat on the bottom it burns the bottom and then it goes up kind of bounces up and over and burns your brisket where you really want to be you know in the sweet spot so we uh we may do something with that but we'll use the tuning plates i forgot he also included this i think he said this was from lone star lone star grill so if you know anything about lone star they're expensive and uh you know so i got both of these charcoal boxes and uh you know we'll see if we use them right um we'll see if we even use this here um so let's get this back all right y'all so there it is back to back we have the pecos and the traeger the traeger's already running so we're about to do something something nice today so i just got it preheating 
Pecos. I'm excited for this thing, y'all. Obviously, I have to do a little bit of ranging. All I did was move my bench press that used to be right here. I relocated it right here, so. Um, this is my original grill that I started with. It's under this cover. Um, but uh, eventually, I'll have them all there, all there, around there. But I keep my garbage cans there and LS3 tranny if y'all need it. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is what it's looking like. This is where it's gonna go down. I think eventually, when I start the first trials of fire management, which is what I'm gonna start with before I do a brisket. Um, I'm probably gonna move the Traeger out of the way and kind of center it so I don't wanna be stacked up too much. But um, for the most part, man, this is gonna be it. You can see the Traeger is rolling smoke. So uh, loving it so far. Uh, like I said, uh, $7.99 if I picked it up uh, from LA and uh 1200 ship to california so uh 300 bucks man couldn't pass it up and i got a couple extra goodies that kind of made up for the fuel it only cost me 140 to go get it um so i had to go to central california to get it and it was worth it and uh we'll see uh this is gonna be a stepping stone maybe we go mill scale bell fab uh wood horse i don't know we'll see we'll see if we even get that far but nonetheless I uh, just wanted to give you guys a heads up and uh, let you guys know what's coming down the pike. So uh, stay tuned, everyone. See you guys on the next one. On that next one.